All right. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to the webinar. So today we have Well Europe, and I'm super excited. We've been waiting on this webinar. We have Shirley and Ms. Martin with Well Europe. How are you two ladies doing today? Doing well. Hi. Thank you. Doing well. Thanks for having Thank us, Tyra. You. Thank you so much for being here. Um, the actors are super excited. Um, let me go ahead and put everybody on mute. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay, everybody on mute. And then um, the floor is all yours. Take Wonderful. Away. Thank you so much for having us, Tyra. Let me just introduce myself. My name is Shirley yes, Bailey, yes. and I am the Inside Sales Manager for Rail Europe. And joining us today is my coworker, Elaine Montanez, and she is actually the sales rep uh, for the East of the United States. So we both work for the Americas team, both South and North America. And we're happy to be here today to introduce you to Rail Europe and also um, hopefully show you some things that'll make your life easier if you start booking Rail with us. Definitely. So we have everybody muted. If you have any comments um, or questions, you can put them in the comments or we'll have some time at the end for some questions, um, hopefully. So let me just get started with who we are as Rail Europe. Rail Europe is the number one distributor of rail tickets, NPSs in the United States. We're a global company and have been in business for over 90 years. We work with over 15,000 travel professionals in 70 different countries. Your, uh, travel agents can book rail with us knowing that we are there for them before, during, and after their travel should they need support or assistance. We offer all of the, uh, many of the rail products, not all of them yet. Um, in 2020, we actually um, were sold by SNCF and the Swiss Rail, and we are now owned by a venture capitalist group. So we are building our own company outside of the European railroads. We currently have most of uh, the European rail carriers with us already, over 100 brands, from Eurostar to the Swiss, Trenitalia in Italy, France, and all over, basically all over the um, Western Europe and Eastern Europe. We are getting more and more carriers every year or every quarter, um, we've added a bunch to our portfolio just this year in 2023. <laughs> our vision is we believe that only a technology designed by people for people can make train travel in Europe easy. Like I said, taking care of travelers before, during, and after their train journey is our mission. We want to provide advanced technology so that the seat uh, Experience is seamless and easy for travel agents. So we have about 200 rail staff members. We're headquartered in Paris, but we have teams in France, Australia, India, China, and the US. What we offer, as I said, we have point-to-point uh, -point tickets with Eurostar, Tallies, all of these, DB, Trenitalia, we go, we offer Swiss passes and your rail passes. We'll get into a little bit more detail. So we also offer one country passes like uh, France pass, Italy pass, um, the Swiss pass, as I mentioned, or the global pass, which is good for 33 countries. For someone that's taking multiple countries on their uh, journey, that would probably be their most economical way to travel. The global pass starts with a four day pass, traveling within one month or up to three months. It's offered in first and second class. Great benefit is offers discounts on hotels, ferries, museums, which can save a lot of money. And up to two children aged four through 11 travel free with an adult which is a great benefit for families traveling. The one country pass starts uh, available in one to eight days, also available in first and second class. There are some discounts uh, as well with hotels, ferries and museums and the same benefit. You get two children aged four through 11 travel free with each adult. 
One thing to keep in mind is you do have to book the adult and the children at the same time. You can't add the children later if you've already booked. Uh, you can't add a free child later if you've already booked the adult pass. So if they are traveling on a rail pass, your clients just need to download the rail planner app on their phone. They add their pass to their um, device, either a phone or an iPad, and they scan the pass at the train stations. That's their ticket. Very easy. They need to buy seat reservations. They buy the pass first, and then they can add seat reservations for some of the high-speed trains. Uh, they just have to put in there that they're traveling with the rail pass so it doesn't charge them for the seat reservation separately. Let's talk about the Swiss travel class. If you've never been to Switzerland, you have to try it. It is one of the best um, ways to travel by train. The views going through the mountains is just amazing. The Swiss pass does offer unlimited number of journeys. So you can get a three, four, six, eight, or 15 consecutive day pass. Comes in first and second class, offers the same discounts on hotels and ferries and museums. And children six through 16 travel free with an adult or a parent pass holder. Something else that we offer is the Bernina and Glacier Express, part of the Swiss travel packages. These trains um, take you through the mountains. You are right there. You can see everything out your window, um, some spectacular views, and what a nice, relaxing way to travel through the mountains while you enjoy a meal at your seat. Uh, some of the most popular routes, Kerr to Toronto, that's a, a four hour journey, four and a half hour journey. St. Moritz to Toronto is just two and a half hours. Moritz, St. Moritz to Toronto um, on the, another line is two hours and 30 minutes as well. And then Zermatt to St. Moritz is a full day, seven hours and 45 minutes, but it is a trip of a lifetime. So let me tell you a little about our track e-learning program. You can become a rail expert with track. This is an online course that you can do at your leisure, provides you with um, basic, valuable information about booking trains. It's self-paced for yourself, so you can do it when you have free time. It's constantly being updated with new information. You complete quizzes at each module um, so that you can check your understanding, and then you get a certificate at the end that you're a full, knowledgeable European rail traveler uh, specialist. And I think Elaine, my co-host, is going to take over from here. I will. Thank you so much, Shirley. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, and start sharing my screen in there just a moment. Uh, what I'm going to do for everyone is I'm going to give you a quick demo on our agent booking platform. As uh, Shirley said, in, in 2020, a couple of different things happened. Let me just share the screen. Apologies, one moment. Let me know if everyone can see. We got it. Perfect. OK, so a couple different things happened in uh, 2020, one of which the biggest was that we were sold. We're now independent. We're no longer owned by the Swiss or the French Railways, SNCF. Um, and with that, we uh, launched a new booking platform. Everything on our booking platform that Shirley mentioned, the products that we're, we're offering are electronic e-ticket. Uh, you will get a confirmation and most of them are in PDF format with the exception of some products as like the rail pass where your client would just download the app and proceed with the instructions to activate the pass and, and use it while traveling. Um, so uh, with that, we have almost all of our full line, but we're still missing because we are uh, building on this platform. But uh, we do have the major uh, carriers, as Shirley mentioned. And this is the main booking uh, page that you're looking at, it's, uh, tickets and passes. So, so it's pretty simple. Let me just make it a little bigger for the eye. And there's a lot of resources on here available to you, um, along with the track course that Shirley mentioned, which also makes you an expert. Uh, Right here, I'm just going to click on this icon. It's our systems connectivity status. 
And so here you could see all of the rail partners. Sometimes they, they're uh, doing maintenance. And so you can get a quick glance and see, you know, if, you're, if you need to book a Eurostar, if it's uh, if they're doing maintenance or if it's up. So currently Eurostar is up, but you can see uh, a quick glance on all of our rail partners that we offer from uh, the Austrian Railways, which we just acquired um, about a month ago or so. And then um, the British Railways uh, within the UK, uh, the French Domestic, uh, which whether they're uh, SNCF or the TER services, the regionals, the French International Railways. So uh, the Deutsche Bahn in, in uh, co-partner with SNCF uh, to take them from Paris to Frankfurt, uh, Paris to Berlin, as an example. Uh, the Eurostar, which is uh, one of the most popular going from London to Paris, Brussels or Amsterdam. Lyria, so the Paris to Geneva, Zurich, Lausanne. Uh, Thales, uh, Paris to Brussels or Amsterdam, uh, as well as the Spanish railways. We offer not only the National Rail Network of Spain, um, Renfe, but we offer WeGo. It's a more cost-effective way to travel. Uh, it's not covering all of Spain, but they are. They do have quite a few right, uh, routes, uh, and the trains are really nice and sleek, modern as well, even though it's a cost-effective way of traveling. Then we have the Italian railways. So we offer the uh, National Rail Network of, of Italy, which is Training Italia. And then we have Italo, which is a competitor. They're privately owned uh, and they operate on uh, major routes within Italy, um, not the local little ones, but um, again, another more cost-effective way of traveling within Italy. Uh, the Deutsche Bahn, which is the National Rail Network of Germany, uh, the Swedish R Railways, which we're, we're working on, um, it's there and we're, we're in the process, so coming soon. Um, and then the Swiss Railways, which Shirley just went over as well. We also offer not only the rail passes, but point to point on, uh, within Switzerland. So um, these, this is, again, a quick glance where you can just check check um, if something's going on with what you're ready to book. And if there is, maybe you could move on to another task and come back to it a couple minutes later. Um, but the availability is, is usually pretty good. Well, I'm in a sandbox environment, so it's a test environment. So that's why you see some things are unknown and so forth. But we have everything so you can get it over um, a, an overview quickly. And then um, I'm going to go to my bookings because uh, as a whole agency, all of, all of the agents have access to the bookings that are made for the agency, not only yours, but all. Reason for that is if someone has left, someone's on vacation, someone's just out and you need to service that customer, you can retrieve that booking and you can view the booking details and you can make um, after sales changes if permitted with, within uh, the sale, the fair uh, sales terms and conditions, excuse me. So you can manage the booking uh, for, for the customer in the case that the agent is you know, not available, et cetera. So um, I'm gonna go into that in, 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 in just a, a couple minutes, but the next thing is planning resources. A lot of people overlook this. Not only does it offer the special deals, the promotions that are going on, which I definitely uh, recommend you look at when you uh, log in. We also offer product fact sheets, which are very informative and give you more detailed information on the rail partner, the classes of service offered, uh, what luggage requirement they, they have, if there's a check-in time that's required, all those important details that you need to provide your client, you can find that within the product fact sheet. Um, and then also we have practical information um, that you can access at any time. This is available 24 seven. So as long as you log in, you have access um, so the agent's corner, more resources for you, excuse me. Um, so we have access to the system connectivity status. So you can check from here as well. We have some training resources. So we have a, a, quite a few videos on how to book a ticket, a rail pass, how to do a process a refund, um, things like that, that you can and just play, um, not play around, but get familiar with our booking platform to make it easier and make you comfortable in selling the products. We offer marketing material, everything's digital. So if you need like any um, logos or uh, train uh, pictures of trains, things like that, marketing material, you can find that there. And then in efforts to uh, continue our promise to being sustainable and green, we offer brochures, but digital, so you can download them to your desktop. 
And we also offer newsletters. All of our past newsletters, you can have and you know go over at any time. They are available to you. And it's a great way because it tells you uh, upcoming webinars that we have, which we tend to host monthly, uh, promotions, new products that are launched. It's, it's quite informative. Um, and if you don't want to subscribe, you can just click on the newsletter tab and then just read up on it whenever you would like to. Our help page is also system connectivity, breaking news and updates, and that also includes promotions, anything like a, a strike or something like that. You can definitely click here to access that information. And then there's frequently asked questions. There's also help articles during the planning, booking, and traveling stage. These are also in addition to the product fact sheets and have a lot of information here as well. So definitely uh, take a look at these articles um, at when you have some time or when you're looking into a product, you can definitely uh, look into these articles to help you out um, with the product. And if you have um, questions on certain things, like I said, whether it's luggage requirements, um, a, the type of fares and sales conditions, things like that. What is important to know that if you need our cust uh, uh, contact uh, support, if you need to contact us, um, you will access this contact form and there are categories and after sales, you can do your own after sales unless it's exceptional. Like if it's a strike, something that, you know, that it's an exceptional case, you can click here, submit the details, the category, exceptional claims, change travel date or time, something like that, and then continue filling the information that's required. The general turnaround time right now is under four hours. If, uh, and um, you will get a response and you will be assisted within that time frame. And sometimes depending on your request, it can take, um, those. they're gonna respond to you, but it, they might need to um, work with uh, whatever the request is. And it might take a bit outside that time frame, maybe 24 hours or so forth, depending on what um, your request is. We also have to help book a journey. So if you're in need of assistance, don't hesitate. You can definitely um, submit it. If you have any questions on payment, um, you can definitely also submit that what type of credit cards, et cetera. Account management is if you need to change anything with your agency, the address, the contact. Each agency should have an administrator that will uh, manage their new affiliates. They'll, they'll be able to create their new affiliates for the agency and then also have access to the billing center for the reports. Um, so if you need anything in regards to commission, if you're having issues creating an agent profile, if you need to delete one of your affiliates, anything that pertains to your account management, you would do, you would just select account management and pick one of these subcategories and then continue on and submit it. And then also we have, if you need an agent discount, if anyone's going to Europe in the near future, we do offer discounted products for agents. Currently, right now, they're the URL passes that you can uh, definitely get a discount on. Um, so you, you would basically click on here and fill out um, the prompts, and then we would get back to you with your request and proceed with the, with the booking. So all this is available to you under help, but also under your profile, you'll see contact us. I have a administrator profile. So administrators would have access management and billing center. And we could discuss that further um, um, if who, you know, if we don't have an administrator set up and so forth. But um, these are all the resources that are available to you. So I think um, definitely when you when you get a chance, uh, check it out um, because I think it'll help you uh, booking them. It, it, it makes the process easier. What I did want to show you is I do want to show you just a simple London to Amsterdam on the Eurostar. This uh, train family is available nine months out. And so I'm just going to click on search. I entered a date passenger. And this is what you'll see. You'll see the um, this, uh, it'll display the fares uh, and schedules. Then to the left, you'll see the duration, if it's a direct service, the, the type of train and the train number. Um, and then you just click on the fare that you're interested in. You can click on each and every fare um, until you're ready to purchase. But what I do recommend is that you always click on view fares and conditions. It tells you, you know, everything you need to know about this fare and if it's the best fare for your client. It is the most flexible. So for me, I'm going to pick this business premier flexi fare um, for my client. And I'm just going to close it out and so add it to my cart. It tells you there that you're getting the commission amount that you're receiving for this. So you're, you're, you'll be able to see that up front when you're booking. So I'm going to go to the cart 
and I apologize for not noting that, but it's right here. You'll, you'll see it when you add it to your cart regardless. Um, here, it just gives you the information of what you just added to your cart. And if you miss the view fair conditions, you can always click on it to view it. I'm gonna continue to the traveler's details. And as you can see here, there is a one-time booking fee um, and it varies by agency, uh, but it's, that's the typical booking fee that we have currently. Um, continue to traveler's details. So I'm just gonna continue. And I just wanted you to see, it's very simple, it depends on the product, what, what information is required by the rail carrier, the rail partner. So in this one, it would just be first and last name. So I'm gonna put John, uh, uh, sorry, John Snow. Um, and then I will put the date of birth. So it's the year, I'll put 1980, uh, born in October the 10th. Now email, this is very important because if your client's travel is impacted, whether it's a strike, uh, anything, you know, like it could be a natural disaster, um, something that impacts your client's journey or there's a delay, this is what the email is used for. So I'm going to put in my client's uh, email address and the phone number, it is not optional. However, some clients don't want to be reached via phone because they incur charges, they might not have access to their phone, et cetera. Just put in a uh, plus a one, excuse me and put in your area code and a phone number. It doesn't have to be, you could put, you could put your own or you could put a, non a fictitious phone number. The important thing is the email because they will send them an email if their journey is impacted and give them further information on what to do. You will also be contacted. This information is here to confirm that you still want, like if, if your client's journey is impacted, you can update your email here and you can add a phone number if you wish to. So once I save this, if anything were to occur to this journey for my clients, they will be contacted and so will I. So note that we're gonna continue to hold and payment. Uh, good to know. So right now it created the booking number. Here's my booking number, it's pre-booked. If we click on this, we will see the coach and seat placement. Coach is the, the care, the wagon, the, um, the carriage that they're in, and then the seat uh, number. Then also you'll see that if you want to put in a reference number, internal reference number that you're booking, maybe a package and you want to cross-reference it or you want to add a name, et cetera, I could put the Snow family. Um, I could put snow, you know, whatever, whatever you like, or you can leave it blank. It's not, it's, it's just for you. It's an additional a resource for you if you need it to. You can choose to hold it. If I choose to hold it, it will hold it for today until 30 minutes. So it's just giving me 30 minutes to book this. Okay, so that it tells you off top. Some products give you more, uh, uh, more of a ticketing time limit, but you'll know what it exactly it is when you're at the screen. So I'm just going to click on pay now. And if I wanted to add a service fee, I can add a service fee. It will not be a separate service fee on the client's credit card. It will be one charge. So I'm going to add $30. Um, and so automatically, it's going to be included in the total. So it was $398. And now with my service fee, it's coming to $436 and the booking fee. There is a one-time booking fee. You can book multiple products within a booking, it's still one booking fee. So I'm just gonna put Mr. John Snow and I'm gonna... Okay, and this don't mind, this is, their, this is our billing address. Um, again, this is a test environment. So I'm gonna put, uh, right now I'm gonna continue to pay. And now we're at the payment screen and we just enter the card number. So I will put in, okay. Okay, so now I put in the card information. If you're curious, we do accept Visa, MasterCard, American Express, uh, and Diners Club. So note that. And now it's processing the payment. Once you click on that payment button, you are locked in to the booking and the after sales apply. There's not a there's not a grace period with rail. Um, once we book it, it's it's a done deal. Right here, you have the, you'll see your email and you'll also see the main uh, 
account email for the agency that's on the account profile because they also get a copy of each booking. Um, you can, of course, cross it out or sorry, or you can add an additional email here if you want to send it to your client or another email you have. Sorry about that. Um, and this is the actual ticket, which I'm going to click on, but I do want to add, you can personalize this. I always say send it to yourself because you can always uh, add, attach this ticket to an email you're sending them or print it out if they're coming into the office. But once this is done, we're, we're done with, with the booking. You'll get an email um, and also you'll have access to it. So right now I can just click on this booking and I can click on the ticket. It'll open up a separate web page, and here's the ticket. I recommend that they print out a couple copies. They could put one in their hand, um, in their uh, handbag, and then in their luggage in case they lose one. They have a backup. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. They do have to print out the full ticket, and this is all that that's going to be required um, along with their identification, so their passport, etc., when they're um, at the Eurostar ticket counter. So it's very simple. Now, let's say that I wanted to do an after sales. Uh, they changed their mind. They want to travel on a different date, or they want a refund. Click on the after, go to the booking. So I'm going to go to my bookings just to show you. You could put in the booking number, the passenger's last name, a PNR, etc. But all I know it's this last booking, so I'm just going to open it up. Click on the after sales. And if I want to do exchange, I'll click on exchange. And then you can only exchange the date or time. The city pairs, the stations, and the passenger names are not exchangeable for this product. You click on exchange, and it'll prompt you to pick a new date and new time. And then you pick a new date. I'm going to pick February the 13th. I'll pick around, say, 12 PM, noon. They, they want to stay longer in, in London. And so I'm going to I'm going to verify how much it's going to cost me to do the exchange. So um, I'm going to select this 101 departure. And it has a connection, so that's why it's, it's much more expensive. So we're going to steer away for that and we're going to go with the 604 because it's for the it's a direct service, first of all, and it's the original cost. Um, so I'm going to click on that. You'll see less frequency on the direct departures because we're a bit far out um, in February, but you still will view departures and you can still complete the exchange if you're ready to for that specific departure. So now I'm going to click select and see balance and it's going to let me know how much I owe if I owe. And if I owe, then I'll pay the difference. If not, so right now it's even. I don't have to pay anything. They're going to recall the commission because you're exchanging it, but you're going to get it back on the new issue ticket. And if you want to go ahead with the exchange, you can click on it. Obviously, you can't go back, um, or I could just cancel the exchange, and I'm going to cancel it. So it's very simple. You have all these resources available to you. You can do your own after sales. You can check and quote. You can check to see how much a refund is, and you don't, you know, just to let them know. So it's after sales quoted. Nothing's done here. It's totally fine. My booking's still intact and confirmed. It'll let you know that. So. These are, um, this is our booking platform, and uh, we hope that you find it um, easy to use. I think that with um, everyone being able to uh, access the resources, they'll have more time, um, not more time, they'll be, it'll be easier for you to um, get familiar with the product and easier to sell it. Um, and let me just, apologies, because we're at 1.30, and I did go a little bit longer than I expected, so I apologize for that but I thought that it's, it's good to get you guys all the information on our booking platform because that's what you're gonna use to be booking these products and you can get familiar with them. Um, so you have a lot of resources here and then um, we're open for questions if you guys still have time. Um, Tyra, you let me know. Oh yeah, we have plenty of time. Uh, we have um, uh, uh, our webinar. Oh, awesome, I'm sorry. I thought it was just 30 minutes, so I was rushing. Um, so if that's the case, um, I just um, also want to point out. Oh, well, let's go. Let's go with the questions. Um, where where are they at? Sorry. You wanna show chat previews? I'm not able to see the the questions. I'm sorry. Am I miss? No, it's okay. So the questions. Um, Miss Raquel said exactly how far out um, are the rail base in Europe? I think she said nine months. I think. The yeah, but that's a very good question. And it all varies depending on our rail partners. So like I said, the Eurostar is available nine months out. And um, sometimes if, if you're, I would say 
if you're looking at nine months, you might see less frequency, like uh, like I just showed for February, even though we're we're in October, November, December, January, February. That's four months out. Typically, this this carries within nine, anywhere from um, nine months to I would say at four months you could start booking four, six, and nine months. You know, for for the Eurostar. Um, the other rail carriers, like for Spain um, and Italy, those Spain is 90 days and Italy is 120. France is, is 90 to 120, give or take. But I would say set, the, set, set it for 90 days with the exception of those premier high speed uh, like Eurostar services. That and the Thales, you can book outside of uh, four months. So typically. Switzerland is going to be 60 to 90 days. But within Switzerland, the good thing is that unless you're taking a scenic service, scenic train that like the one Shirley went over when the slides, the Bernina Express or the Glacier Express, um, they can just hop on and off with their pass because the frequency is so high. Most of their trains don't accept reservations and they're still high speed services. So within Switzerland, it's a bit easier. Um, you just, you know, hop on and off with your pass. Any um, other? Some, um, yeah. Also, with Thales, now Europe, Eurostar, are the dates availability of um, availability extended out? Hey, you know what? That's that's a good question. Yes, um, Thales did become part of the Eurostar group. Uh, they're going to finalize it soon, um, and it's not going to affect anything. So, if you book something previously uh, on the Thales, it's all going to remain the same. The booking horizon should increase. Currently, right now, it's 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 four to six months, um, but it should mirror uh, Eurostar as well because they're going to obviously it's, it's under the Eurostar umbrella, the Eurostar group. So they um, are, that's in the work. So it should, it should eventually be nine months as well. Okay. Um, the next one is what is VB average dates out? Uh, the Deutsche Bahn, it's, it's 90 days there. And I'm hoping that soon it'll be 120 because that's, that's what they're pushing for. So after, um, well, post pandemic, obviously the, the, the booking horizons got shortened because of, of the way um, things were. Um, um, you know, obviously there wasn't a lot of certainty with, with the pandemic, things like that. So it got, it went down to like 30, um, which it, it is no longer like that. So now it's either 60 for like, for like Spain, the rest are pretty much 90 with the exception of like Eurostar, which is nine months. And then the Thales, which is uh, four months. And then like um, Italo, and uh, which is in Italy, they're 120 days. So it varies, but I know that sounds a little bit all over the place right now. But uh, as I said, with the planning resources, like with the product fact sheets, it gives you that under the train, it gives you, and I'm, I'm over here thinking I'm sharing. So bear with me one second. I'm gonna share, share my screen. So, this is this. I'm gonna just go back because I'm sorry. Let me go back to. I went to planning resources and then I clicked on product fact sheets and it just brings you down mid page. And then here are the trains that we offer. And so, like, you'll start between France, Belgium, Netherlands, Germany. Uh, so, you click on it and then you'll have routes and travel times, onboard services, individual fare types, the booking horizon. So 90 days to 120 days here, it's not updated, but it's it, for the Eurostar, it's it's up to nine months. So, um, but it has a lot of tons of information on here. Uh, and let me just see if they did that because they're joining the Eurostar group. So bear with me just one second, I wanna see, because I see Eurostar here to and from London. I see 330 days, so that's pretty much why. So the Eurostar, and that applies to London, um, London and Amsterdam as well. So, but you can find all that booking horizon information here, just in case that you're you forgot or you're unsure. You can always click on the product fact sheets, and we have one for every real partner. So our friends to Italy, friends to Spain. Um, we also offer Mountain Peaks that just got released last month, Swiss Mountain Peaks as well that you can take a look into. Here it just has a complete list of all the real partners in the product sheets as well. So you can get more information there. All right, 
Um, thank you. Our next question is, um, what's the, the rail, well, is it rail Europe dot, um, rail Europe dot com backslash agent for the agent portal? It is a great question. It's agent.raileurope.com. Thank you. Um, our next question is Global Pass. How far out, how far is the buyout? You can buy them e 11 months out. Okay. Actually, um, you, you know what? I, I believe actually it increased to um, a year. So, uh, Shirley, do you have it off top? Or I like thought it was still 11 months. 11 months. So, let's see. Yeah, I think it would be 11 months. Let's see features. Just shy of a year. Yeah, just shy of a year. I'm pretty sure it's still 11 months. I wasn't just sure. I think, I think, um, yeah, actually, yes. Travel up to 11 months later. So yes, within 11 months. Okay. Let's see another info. Um, good info. Um, agents are saying that it's good info. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, it is. All right. And okay. if any of you are okay. traveling to Europe, remember what we said about the 8075s. Do give uh, a little bit of time for planning those. We can't really issue an 8075 same day or next day. We really need like seven to 10 days. So okay. but keep that in mind for your next trip to Europe because it's a great way to be able to see Europe uh, from city center to city center. You don't have to worry about going to the airport an hour early. Um, That's get true. The train, and when you get off the train, you're right there in the next city. Um, ready to go. Yeah, because the great thing Can about you on, the, on the AD 75, I'm actually um going to Europe and I, I'm a I'm a, a train. I'm not a train. I'm a, I'm an airplane girl. Like I will jump on an airplane. Um, uh, Mr. Raquel, A as an apple, D as in dog 75. Um, and one of my agents, she's been trying to get me to do the train and I want to, but I'm like a little nerve wracked. So exactly how does the AD 75 program work? So with the agent discount, all it's it's real simple. All you have to do is it qualifies for uh, one agent and one traveling companion per year to get a discount on, on either depending on what you're doing. If you're doing um, multiple countries, then you would be it would be the Euro Global Pass that we're looking at now. Or as Shirley mentioned, if you're just doing France, you do the you apply for the one country, uh, France or Italy, whatever the country might be. You um, provide the information, the date that you're leaving, um, the date amount of train days that you'll need and then one of our travel experts will process your request and then advise you we have these options for you so you could do this global pass if you're doing multi-country these are the days and then you select from there they'll give you the pricing and then if you're ready to purchase uh, they uh, will contact you to get the the booking um, completed and then you get the product it's it's a um, it's a mobile pass, so you, you like Shirley said, you're gonna download the mo the app on your on your phone or smart device, whether it's an iPad or a notepad, etc. Um, and then you use that to travel. The only thing is, you will get a discount on the rail passes, but pass holder reservations are additional costs, and they're required on those premier high speed services. So, say you're traveling within France, like, or you want to go Paris to Geneva, you'll have the pass to cover your point-to-point -point ticket journey, but you'll just need to reserve a seat. And typically those can be anywhere from $13 up to 50 if you're taking the Eurostar in second class as an example. So, um, okay. and yeah, yeah, you just just um, fill out the form, you do the contact us, um, the contact us form, and you click on the last help to book 8075, and then you put your carrier up, if you have an option, your validity date, and then the country and so forth, all that good information. So we can determine what product is, you know, what this kind of product works best. And that's it, you send it and then someone get back, it will get back to you with the information and you could proceed if you want, or you can say, no, I've, I'm not, you know, I'm not interested anymore, whatever the case might be. So you're not, you're not obligated to complete the purchase. Okay, that's super cool. Thank you so much for that service. But Tyra, um, even if you do decide please. to go by, by plane, I would. I would say try one train while you're over there because I'm an airline girl too. And that's where I originally came from the airlines. But once I started uh, traveling by train, there is nothing that is like that because it's so relaxing to be able to sit back and have a glass of wine, not worry about having to go stand in line at the airport or get there early 
you only need to check in like 30 minutes ahead of time and you're on your train. Yeah, and the good thing to know oh. um, um, also that as Shirley said, um, you, you're right in the heart of the city. So city center to city center. So just think about all of these security lines. Cause I just, uh, I just recently, I know it's Atlanta. I just recently came back from Atlanta and it was like a three hour security line wait. So just keep that in mind in Europe. They're also, I mean, it's, it's, um, there are certain airports that are more backed up than others, but keep that in mind. You're going to, you're going to lose time. Your clients are going to lose time in security lines, also transportation to get there, to get to the city center. And then now there's also, um, I don't know if everyone's aware, but in Europe, they're really big on sustainability and they cut a lot of flights if they're under three hours. So you're not gonna get a lot of flights either if for uh, smaller segments mm -hmm. like in the past. So that's a good sell to the clients that, you know, if, if they need to get, you know, on a segment that they used to be able to take a flight before, the train is available and it's a great option like Shirley said because you could you could bring your own wine you could bring your own snacks um there's windows on each side it's not like Amtrak in the U.S. it's a totally different way of of, of train transportation <laughs> yes so <laughs> I mean I, I would definitely if if you guys want to take a look at the track um the track that Shirley mentioned it is a it's at your own pace and you create your own login you just put in your email let me see if I can move this really quick so I could show you ladies um that's great because someone did have a question on that yeah I want to show you because it's it, you guys can watch videos and you can see how cool the train is and how easy and um so I'm gonna this is this is the sorry. This is a track. I'm gonna put this down here so you can see. It's it's um, track-raileurope.com. Um, I we can send you. We're gonna send you a copy of this presentation afterwards, um, and then it'll be on there as well. Um, or Shirley, if you don't mind putting it in the chat box for them right now while I do this, I, if you can. If not, we'll we'll share. You guys are gonna get it either way. It's very simple. You click on register, and we're not gonna do that right. Ah. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Hold on a second. So sorry. Hold on. I think that's the one. Did I get it right? Okay. So hold on a second. Pause the share real quick. Sorry. Okay. Take your time. We have time. Sorry, we're still doing good. All right, I'm gonna put this in the chat. I will put it to group. All right, I put I put I just put the URL in the chat right now for everybody, and I'm about to share again. So, uh, am I sharing? Resume share. Okay, is everyone able to see? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So you just once you register, you register, and you're automatically in. I'm gonna log in just so you guys can see, and then I'm gonna put this back up. So. You get to see. All right. Online training, trains in Europe, agent resources. Let's just go into any of them. Okay. And these are modules. Some are 20, some are 17, 10 minutes. You click on it. It's it. And I'm telling you, you can see the, it'll show you the journey. It'll show you, and you'll see how, how nice and how clean these trains are and how um, efficient. And then also, you know, just the, 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 the comfort and the way of travel. I mean, to me, um, personally, I've done a coach class on these, which is a standard class, second class, and you can compare most, some of them to business class on a flight with the space in the seats that you get, the way that the, the, the amenities that are offered, uh, some of them offer Wi-Fi um, without having to pay for it, um, like airlines do. Mm -hmm. So, you know, these, I definitely recommend, especially if you're planning, Tyra, if you're planning on going, definitely, um, depending on the country or the, the the train service that you're looking at, click on one of these videos whenever you get a chance. Look at they're very short, and you can stop them at any time. So, um, and the great thing is that you get to experience like the ride on, you know, take kind of a journey with them while you're doing this uh, these modules. And um, oh my god. Yeah, and as Shirley mentioned, you get you get a certificate. So at the end of each module, you take a little quiz, and then once you pass it, you get a certificate, which uh, gives you travel credits with the um, Travel Institute as well. So it's it's very useful, and it's it, it kind of makes it easier uh, because once you get a visual, if you if you can't be there in person, and you get a visual, it, to me it helps immensely um, when you're offering a product. So definitely, you know, take the opportunity. Does. 
And Raquel just had a good point. This is really the only one of the few times that I, I'm able to afford first class and travel in first class. And it really is nice because uh, some of them have welcome drinks, food at your seat. Mm -hmm. um, the seats are bigger, wider, um, and it really makes you feel like you're traveling first class. Absolutely. And if you're, if, if like, if this is your, your first time going there and you have that opportunity, like Shirley says, take it and, and do, um, do a train service. Um, and if you want to do the pass, you get, you know, the pass comes in, in first or second class. So definitely, um, take the opportunity and do it. I, I, I definitely encourage, um, to do, um, a train service, um, if you have the chance. No, I will. I'm going to be going from Paris to London. Where would you go? Um, what, where would you recommend going um, after London? I think I'll have a little bit more time to go somewhere after London. It may not be long, but you know. Do you have you been? Um, have you been to um, uh, Scotland? Like if you're if you're going from Paris to London, are you? Oh, cool. Or you could go to Scotland. They have some beautiful uh, castles up there that you can see. I, mm -hmm. Wales is beautiful too. Um, so, I mean really I, I i went to liverpool if you're into the beatles i mean there's so much that you depending manchester's a great city has a great nightlife um i don't know Shirley, any recommendations no you hit all the ones i was just gonna say and then if, wow. if i were if i were you tyra and if i had the chance i would head to ireland <laughs> how far is it from london via train uh you're gonna have to take a ferry you're gonna have to um take it up to, um, I'm trying to think of the port, and then from there, take the ferry to Dublin. Uh, I don't know if you have that time, but I'm just saying Ireland is really beautiful as well. And if you get up to Scotland and you might want to venture out to Ireland. But London to Liverpool, I think is three hours or two hours. I think it's under three hours. Yeah, I think it. I think it's less. Okay. I think, yeah, I think it's like very, you could do a day, we did a day trip. It, I think it's under two hours now, I, I believe. The last time okay, I went perfect, there. You could definitely go and return in the same day if you yep. wanted to keep your hotel. Correct. That's how I'm excited. I'm going to do it. <laughs> All right. So thank you. Thank you. So um, more questions. Um, yes, Ms. Vernell, you heard right. You can bring your own wine. Um, you know, <laughs> <laughs> like Absolutely. Um, Europe. Oh, and yeah, I love. Oh, um, that was the only train that I've ever taken was um Japan. Um, oh, we're in Japan. Like I'm afraid trains but we jumped on the train from Tokyo to Kyoto for three hours because it was a straight shot like I can't get lost you know but right that was, that was clean amazing um let's see yep um Brunel said one um let's see <laughs> that wine okay. hit a chord with everybody <laughs> <laughs> one thing we like to be is travel you. agents right yep Ms. Val says thanks for posting the address um Raquel said first class um too. Uh, most times it's not too expensive and offer food services as well. Ms. Kim said that's nice. And then Raquel said, um, hmm, Glasgow or Nottingham? Oh, Glasgow. Yeah, Glasgow and Nottingham. Yeah, those are great places. Glasgow's a, a I have not been to Glasgow, but I've I've heard great and things about Glasgow. So definitely. I, I really don't think it's it's any anywhere you go it, it's going to be a good find a good uh, you know a good gem because there's so much to do and see culturally and if you like gastronomy or if you like the arts or museums things like that there's always something to do and in, in, in uh, whether you're in England or um, the rest of Europe so if you only have four days would you spend all of them in London or would you just go from London to another place to another place um, I got four days to explore before I have to get back to Paris for the group trip mm. I think I would I would take two days in London because there's yes. a lot to see there too if you've never been. But I, I, the other two days I would take a day trip somewhere. Definitely. Yep. What do you think, Elaine? I know oh. I I totally agree with you because there's so much to do in London. London's beautiful, and yes, I I would definitely give yourself at least two days. Do um if you're interested, do a double decker bus so you can you can go around oh, all the all the yes. all the good all the good stops, and then you can figure out what what you like the best, and you can always get off and then get back on because they keep going like they're you know like um they have a. Oh, uh, yeah, they have their schedules where they, they're always uh, uh, stopping at every stop and then they pick up and so forth. So if you get off one bus, you can pick up another one, you know, minutes, hours or, or whatever it is that the next one comes around. So it's, it's a good excited. way to see. Yeah. Uh, definitely do the London Eye. 
if you get it, if, if London you, Eye. Mm -hmm, it's yes, I would recommend that. So if I'm not sure of uh, when I'm requesting the, the pass, if I'm not sure, can I just tell them my days that, you know, I'm not sure, but I think I may want to do this. Will they give, you know, will they say, well, maybe this or this or. So what I will tell you with the pass, it's a flexible pass that, that you, you can decide on um, that, that they're offering. It's a flexi pass, so you don't have to use them consecutively. I believe you do have to state a day that you want the pass activated, but they can they can they can definitely let you know if if that is the the requirement, um, because if they activate it for you, then it's going to activate the pass that, that day that you provided. And if you miss that day, well, you miss a, a day of train. You know, so you lose out on a day of train. Is is what will happen. Got it. Got it. Mm -hmm. that makes sense. I'm and excited. Then, this is amazing. And then if you're going to do the, the pass and you're going to do the Eurostar, that you'll get a discount with as a pass holder. But those um, pass holder fares, they have a certain allotment. So make sure that you give yourself enough time to book it, uh, the, the actual pass holder mm -hmm. reservation. Yes. And you could do that through us on our, on our booking platform. Um, just like uh, Shirley said, make sure that when you're booking, you see this right here, I already have a real pass. If you, if you already, Tyra, know that you're going to do a, a global pass, you're, just, you're gonna get an agent discount, but you're gonna do a global pass. You haven't gotten it yet, but you know you are. You can click on that and you can click on first class because that's what you'll wanna do unless you wanna go second, which is not a problem. Um, you confirm it and then you put in your London or Paris to London and get the the um, schedules and fares. And then you, you can go ahead and, and book that pass holder reservation. Just a second, I'm just gonna put January just to show you. Where does the luggage go? Does my luggage stay with me? Yes, it does. Um, it oh, it's wrong. Oh, the pairs. It Is so it enough room for like a, a check bag and a carry-on bag. Yes, they have yes. large luggage racks at the end of each car, and they also have overhead, so you can put it right above you where you're sitting. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The only thing is, I I always say take as much as you can carry because there's not a porter to help yeah, you. Nobody there to help you. Yes. So that's the only thing I say keep in mind. Um, but yes, there's always like she said, and when you come into your your coach there's a, a huge place for those large larger suitcases and they have overhead luggage racks and then obviously you can put them in the seat with you if it fits and you're with somebody you know that you're in the same aisle seat placement um, but this is an idea of see so if you want first class with the pass holder you're getting I said 50 earlier second class it depends on the season but 41 in first and 32 in second I'm going first because it's not much of a difference you're going to get a meal served at your seat at, with the pass holder fare so and you're going to get commission off your pass holder reservation so as opposed to yeah as opposed to if you don't have a pass you're looking at four hundred dollars in first class which is still a great deal compared to a, an airline and you're getting a three-course meal with champagne um 60 days that you can cancel and exchange uh quicker uh, check-in uh check-in um service so there's a lot of amenities that come with that four hundred and five dollars um and if you compare it to an airline business class it's really not much so keep those things in mind yeah let's see thank you um stonehenge and bath hmm oh yeah stonehenge. yeah stonehenge Stonehenge and Bath. You could definitely take a trip Those up there. Very bath. The you could take the train up to Bath, um, and it leaves you right in the area. So, from London to Bath, I don't, I don't even think. Yeah, I don't even think it's that far. You could also. I'm gonna put this in the chat. Uh, this is a great resource. A resource you can't you can't book anything on here, but if you want a plan like you're doing right now, it's Bunny Bunny.com. I think it is. Let me see. I think that's it. Hold on before I put it in here for you ladies, for everyone. I just want to make sure. Is it it? So basically, you could put from Dublin to Barcelona, and it'll tell you the duration. That's what it is. Oh, no, here it is. Sorry. You don't need all this, but I'll just put this part for you in the chat. And you you definitely use that as a resource because our booking platform yes although it's it's a new platform and it's it's intuitive um however it's not going to tell you if you want to get from dublin 
all the way in Ireland to Barcelona, what are your stops? It's going to give you an error because there's not a, a direct service or a multi-connection that we can do for that, obviously. So it's going to give you an error. But this is super, super uh, um, helpful. And so let's just say, she say bath. I'm going to say bath. December, make this easy. Oh, seven. Oh, goodness. If I could type. All right. So then don't worry. It's all, you could change it to English right here. It's English, but come on, Dublin. Okay. All right, new query. Let's go. What? Oh, it didn't like your stations. Wow. I don't. I, maybe it's not picking up Dublin. I don't even understand why I did it last time. Let's see Barcelona too. If I could spell to Inverness. Let's go on oh, today's attempt. It really is easy. Sorry that. <laughs> oh my goodness! It's like, oh my god! It's like so. It's Hamburg. I don't. I don't understand why it's doing this, but whatever. Um. Yeah. It's 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 really easy to use. I don't. I. It's just. It might be because we have all our cameras. Maybe you know. it's it's not. Maybe I have to. I maybe I have to clear my cookies. Maybe I did something because it's not. It, it's like it's it's not filling in anything. Not any city you it's not in. taking anything. But yeah, um, it is really it, a good resource, though. Usually, yeah. So you could just. Oh, that's why I'm doing. Oh, did I do that? Uh, I'm doing my notes. Okay, turn to whatever. Let's just do this. Let me just see. There it goes. Oh. Okay. Why can't you pick up Dublin? There it goes. See, it works. Sorry. <laughs> 27 hours from Milan to Dublin. Uh, you could do it in 24 with three changes. But anyway, this is like a really good way to see, um, to get an overview if, you're, if you're, your client is going to take the rails or, you know, what's, what's, how long is it going to take, et cetera. And it tells you everything. So every stop that the train makes and how long it'll be there. Exactly. So wow. even change stations. And then here, Holyhead to Dublin, that's the ferry that you, so you would go from London to Holyhead and then from there, which you get discounts with the pass as well. So with the global pass, you'll get a discount on the, on the ferries um, as well. So keep that in mind. But anyway, this is a good resource for everyone that if you wanted to plan something for your client, you can get an idea of what's involved, how long it takes, what changes, right. and you know, what cities or countries might be involved. So well, listen, this was an absolute amazing webinar. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. Agents, do you guys have any other questions? No? No. And, well, and, listen, and thank you so much. I, I just oh, want to add, Tyra, I'm so okay. sorry. I just want to add that um, if you if if you have any, if you need assistance or anything, please use the contact us form. And like I said, they usually get with back to you within four hours or less now if you need further assistance you need something escalated that's what shirley and i are here for so don't hesitate but you do have to go through contact us first and i appreciate your time thank you and sorry tyra i just wanted to let everybody know that yes as well. thank you very much for your time today we really appreciate you. knowing you a lot about the trains no thank you so much listen i i feel a little bit more confident about taking the train in europe my um uh, one of my trainers she's been boosting me up but yes I, I absolutely that's you, what have, we for. you have to do it do it just you know if especially you're going to be out there even if you take one train like even That's if it's just said, yeah yeah like shirley says if even if it's one and you can't do the whole thing um definitely since you're there take the opportunity and just you know take the experience and then you'll there. be raving about it to your clients i can't wait but thank you thank you so much um agents you guys don't have any other questions I will see you um, on the flip side and the Facebook group or um, personal webinar. And so then I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much, ladies. All Thank right. You. Bye, Tyra. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you.
Bye, Tara.